Advanced Persistent Threats, APTs, elevating the threat landscape further, we encounter Advanced Persistent Threats, APTs. These represent a more sophisticated, prolonged, and highly targeted form of cyber attack. Unlike opportunistic malware campaigns, APTs are characterized by 1. Sophistication. They often employ multiple layered attack vectors, custom malware, and zero-day exploits. 2. Persistence. Attackers establish long-term covert presence within a target network, often for months or even years, without detection. 3. Targeted approach. APTS. Focus on specific organizations or industries to steal intellectual property, classified information or disrupt critical infrastructure rather than broad financial gain. 4. Resourceful adversaries. APT attackers are well-funded and technically adept, which could be state-sponsored, organized crime groups, or skilled hacking collectives with varied motives from financial gain to sabotage. Detecting an APT requires continuous deep analysis, strong threat intelligence, and dedicated threat hunting efforts, as they are designed to bypass standard automated defenses and operate in the shadows. Types of advanced persistent threats. 1. Zero-day exploits. 2. Social engineering attacks. 3. Watering hole attacks. 4. Compromised supply chains. 5. Advanced malware. It is important to take note of the listed forms of advanced persistent threats in a SOC. Attack vectors. An attack vector is a pathway or method that a cyber attacker uses to gain unauthorized access to a computer system, network, or application. This basically entails elements that expose to cyber threats. There are two major pathways for attack vectors to gain unauthorized access. They are 1. Technical paths. 2 social and procedural paths. Let's look at the pathways briefly. 1. Technical paths. Attack vectors are the specific paths or methods an unauthorized user employs to gain access to a computer or network. One primary category involves exploiting technical vulnerabilities such as 1. Software vulnerabilities. Attackers frequently exploit unpatched flaws or security weaknesses in operating systems, applications, or network devices. 2. Weak configurations. This refers to systems or devices configured insecurely. Misconfigurations can be as dangerous as unpatched vulnerabilities. 3. Network exploits. Direct attacks targeting network protocol services or infrastructure devices themselves. This can include denial of service, DOS, attacks, man in the middle attacks, or exploiting weaknesses in VPNs or other network appliances. The constant need for patch management and rigorous secure configuration management is a direct response to these technical attack vectors, aiming to eliminate these entry points. 2. Social and procedural paths. Beyond technical flaws, attackers frequently exploit the human element and procedural weaknesses. These non-technical attack vectors are often the easiest and most successful pathways for compromise. Some of these social and procedural paths are 1. Social engineering. This is the art of manipulating individuals into performing actions or divulging confidential information. Common social engineering tactics include pretexting, creating a fabricated scenario, a pretext to trick a victim into, giving up information, baiting, offering something enticing, and quid pro quo, offering a benefit in exchange for information. 2. Weak authentication, over-reliance on easily guessable or commonly used passwords, or the lack of robust authentication mechanisms like multi-factor authentication MFA. Compromised credentials are a leading cause of breaches. 3. Insider threats, security risks posed by current or former employees, contractors or business partners. These can be malicious insiders intentionally seeking to harm the organization or negligent insiders who inadvertently cause a breach. Common forms of insider threats are negligence, malicious intent and compromise. Addressing these vectors requires extensive security awareness training for all employees, robust security policies and continuous vigilance, as the human element remains a critical and persistent attack surface. Now that we have highlighted and die-cuss the different forms of cyber threats and their components, let's look at another aspect, cyber threat intelligence. What is cyber threat intelligence? Cyber threat intelligence, CTI, is processed, analyzed, and refined information about existing or emerging threats. 
It provides contextual insights into who the attackers are, their motivations and their tactics, techniques and procedures. Threat intelligence plays a vital role in shaping proactive security measures. Imagine you're a detective in a vast digital city, continuously on the lookout for potential intruders. Understanding the current threat landscape, including known vulnerabilities and attack vectors, allows organizations to anticipate and mitigate risks. For example, if threat intelligence indicates a rise in phishing attacks targeting financial services, that information can guide teams to strengthen their email filtering systems, implement additional security awareness training for employees, and reevaluate transaction processes to safeguard sensitive data. Data breach. A data breach is the unauthorized access, disclosure, or loss of sensitive, confidential, or private information. This can involve personal data as well as corporate data like customer records or intellectual property. Data breaches can occur both intentionally and unintentionally through cyber attacks, human error, or physical theft of devices. Impact of data breaches on organizations. When a data breach occurs, the impact can be 1. Operational downtime. Systems or networks affected by the breach may need to be taken offline for investigation, containment and remediation. 2. Reputational damage. News of a data breach can lead to immediate public outrage, a steep loss of customer trust, and highly negative media coverage. 3. Financial loss. Direct financial costs immediately begin accumulating. Other consequences include legal and regulatory fines, as well as lawsuits and legal action. The urgency and intensity of these immediate impacts underscore the critical need for swift and decisive action by the SOC and incident response teams. Mitigation strategy. The single most effective strategy for mitigating the impact of data breaches is proactive preparedness, centered around a robust incident response IR plan. This plan serves as your organization's essential playbook during a crisis. This plan typically involves 1. Proactive planning. Before a breach occurs, the IR plan meticulously defines roles and responsibilities for every team member involved, SAC IT, legal communications, HR, executive management. It outlines clear communication protocols for internal and external stakeholders and establishes precise escalation paths for different types of incidents. 2. Rehearsals. A plan is only as good as its execution. Organizations must regularly conduct tabletop exercises and realistic simulations of various breach scenarios. These rehearsals help to test the plan's effectiveness, identify any gaps or weaknesses, and ensure that all stakeholders are familiar with their specific duties under pressure. 3. Predefined communication strategy. A critical component of the IR plan is a pre-approved communication strategy. This includes templates for customer notifications, media statements, and regulatory disclosures. This helps control the narrative, disseminate accurate information swiftly, and prevent misinformation or speculation that could further damage reputation. 4. Advanced security technologies. Continuous investment in and deployment of advanced security tools is crucial. This includes security information and event management CM systems for real-time threat detection and correlation endpoint. Detection and response EDR solutions for deep visibility and response on devices and intrusion detection and prevention systems. 5. Regular audits and assessments. Proactive identification and remediation of vulnerabilities are vital. Conducting frequent security audits, vulnerability assessments and penetration tests helps uncover weaknesses in systems, applications and configurations before attackers can exploit them. 6. Security awareness training. The human element remains a primary attack vector, fostering a pervasive culture of security awareness among all employees, from executives to interns, through continuous engaging training is paramount. Employees who understand common threats like phishing and recognize their role in maintaining security significantly enhance the organization's overall resilience. This module has armed you with knowledge of prevalent cyber threats like malware and APs, plus their attack vectors. We explored leveraging threat intelligence for proactive defense and analyzed the devastating financial, reputational, and legal impacts of data breaches, emphasizing the need for robust mitigation strategies. Every incident, even a breach, is an opportunity for learning and improvement. Some ways to achieve this is by 1. 
Post-incident reviews PRs, detailed analysis to understand what went wrong and how to improve. Two, engaging third-party experts, bringing in external cybersecurity firms for audits or incident response can provide fresh perspectives. Three, continuous improvement cycle, integrating lessons learned back into policies, procedures and technology. Remember, every challenge holds an opportunity for growth especially in the dynamic and ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity. Embracing this mindset is crucial for long-term resilience. See you on the next module.